I want to talk to you today about a wonderful vision that the Lord had given me. Three weeks into the revival, they prayed for us and I fell on the floor um, and I had this most incredible encounter. All of a sudden, I was in this beautiful meadow and Jesus walked up to me and handed me a bouquet of lily of the valley. Now, they're tiny little flowers. They smell just beautiful. And so when he did that, I knew what he meant. So let me go out of the vision again to tell you what that meant. John had, we were dating and it was spring. His mom had given him a bouquet for me. So on the way home, I'm saying, woe is me, I'm feeling bad, I'm all my circumstances. And the lily of the valley were right beside me and they began to waft the fragrance. The Lord spoke to me and he said, Carol, the lily of the valley don't grow on the mountaintops. They only grow in valleys. When you're in a valley, I'll have my lilies there for you. So back into the vision, Jesus handed me the bouquet of flowers and we just had a wonderful time in this beautiful meadow, laughing, talking about things that we've shared over the years. We're just like children um, playing. We crossed our arms and swung around and laughed for a long time. And then finally he said to me, Carol, can I have the bouquet back? I went, hmm. You know, girls don't like to give bouquets back, guys, in case you're just a heads up. But anyway, I gave it back to him kind of hesitantly. And he began to go around and pick up all different color flowers, red ones, yellow ones, purple ones, white ones, and began to make them into a wreath. And in that wreath, he placed the lily of the valley. And then he put it on my head. And out of nowhere came a long white wedding veil scene changed. I know I'm walking. I had my hand over Jesus' arm. We're walking down the streets and I'm kind of looking around thinking, I don't know where we are. I don't recognize any of this. But there were people along the way and they were cheering and I thought to look down and I went, oh my goodness, I'm in heaven. I'm walking on the streets of gold. Ah, I married Jesus. And as soon as I thought that, scene changed again. And there was this massive banquet hall. I mean, I couldn't see to the end of it. It was huge. And the tables were all set, beautiful linens, beautiful china, flowers, candelabras, everything was ready. And then I looked around and I said, Jesus, where is everybody? The banquet feast is ready. And then he said to me, turn to turn. And I looked sideways and here were all these beautiful people and I said Jesus who are these and he said they're the broken they're the outcast they're the ones that nobody's loved and nobody's cared for and I've bidden them to come into my banquet feast and then at that moment and oh and they were radiant I want to tell you that their faces were just absolutely radiant with joy, with peace, with love. And then they had wedding attire on. And I said, Jesus, they are so beautiful. And he said, yes, they're my bride. And then he came up to me and he said, can I have the first dance, Carol? Now go back and out of the vision. When I first got saved, I had read um, in the Bible about, you know, getting crowns. And I thought, Lord, I really don't want a crown. I would rather have a hug. You see, I was a single mom. I didn't have anybody to hug me. My kids hugged me though. But I said, Jesus, when I get to heaven, my reward will be, you know, a hug. I would just like a big, long hug from you, Jesus. So in the vision, Jesus came up and asked me for the first dance. And I thought, yeah, that's my answer to my prayer is, a hug from Jesus. And as we began to dance, I thought, oh, oh dear, my wedding veil's too long to dance. And then all these little birds came, little cardinals and blue jays and sparrows, and they picked up my wedding veil and I danced with Jesus. And as I came out of that, John came up to me on the platform and said, Carol, will you share what, um, 
what's happened to you because the audience, and this was like two weeks or three weeks into the revival, and I'm on the platform and I guess I'm, my feet are up in the air and I'm, I guess I was running with Jesus and my hands are going all over the place. And I was quite a distraction to the audience, but they come up to John and said, you know, do you think we better pull Carol off the stage because Mark DuPont was speaking? And uh, John said, nobody touch her. She's never done anything like this. And she would not do this for a million dollars. And so they left me. But when John saw I was kind of coming out of it, he said, can you share what happened? So I asked the Lord and he said, yeah, you can share it. I got up and I had Jeremy, our worship leader, sing uh, Kevin Prosh's song, So Come, which talks about the broken and the hurting and coming to the, coming to the Lord. So then I shared the vision. And then he said, tell my people to be like the five wise virgins. The 10 were all Christians. They all had lamps. They all had them lit. They were all looking for the bridegroom to come. And they all slumbered and slept. What was the difference? The five wise had extra oil and the five foolish did not. What was the oil? It was the oil of intimacy, being one with Jesus, spending time in intimacy with Him. The five foolish had to go and buy extra oil because you see, you can't give somebody your intimacy. And so I want to pray with you today that you would have a desire that God would put in you a longing just to be His bride and spend time with Him. Lord Jesus, I just thank you that you're calling your church, your people, ah, Lord, the broken and the hurting, to come into the wedding banquet feast, to be married with Jesus for eternity. And Lord, I ask that you would create such a longing and such a desire in their hearts, oh, to spend time. Just put on a, a, a CD or a music that you can just love Jesus. Tell him how much you love him. And then ask him, Jesus, what would you have to say to me? You see, it's a time of romance, intimacy with him. It's not a prayer list. It's not praying for the nations. This is just time to fall in love and be with Jesus, a two-way relationship. And Jesus does not want a five-minute fling. He wants an ongoing, deep, longing love affair with his bride. So be the bride of Christ. Be ready, be those five wise, not the five foolish. Thank you, Jesus. Bless everyone to just get so radically in love with our King and our Bridegroom. And His name is Jesus.